Who hasn't wanted to shove a little Asian woman inside a giant plastic bag and suck all the air out? Hello, everyone. Welcome, 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 crew, crew. What, uh, what have you guys been doing since we last chatted? I don't. When I don't even. I feel like we've been on a three-year hiatus. If I'm this is this is the first time we've all talked in a month. I think in seven years. Welcome it's, back it hasn't to been monthly that long. Crew. It has been a month. Well, you and I, you and I talked to Justin and Matt, and then oh yeah, my, that's true. My recording failed, so that's what happened last week. Oh, you, so that episode didn't, didn't go up. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was an attempt, Bam. a partial attempt. Didn't? Yeah, it uh, is. Well, it has actually been like three weeks or something. We should probably apologize. We should start with apologizing to the faithful listeners. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Don't Sorry. Worry. We'll be okay. That's true. Right, luckily, well, luckily, there's no a there's an internet full of other things to listen to. Thank God. Better things, some might say. No. Yeah. Don't what? That. That's <laughs> can't be. That's impossible. That's impossible. Cream Cruise, the only thing I listen to. It's so dastardly, so devious. Uh, we have been stuck on. What? Space King 2. Ah. And it's now looking like it's going to be 20 minutes long. So that's, that's what's going on with the Flash Kids boys. I like that. That would be calculated. Yeah. I feel like you're twiddling, so yeah, twiddling your hair. We like to make epics. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. The first episode was supposed to be 8 minutes, and then it became 15. 15. And so this all supposed time, to I think be we're like, all right, let's write a 15 minute and one. And... 20, so that's not bad. Yeah. The next one will be 25. Let's work our way up to the feature length. That'd be pretty sweet. I think it'd be pretty cool. <clears throat> I think that'd be pretty nice. I think that'd be pretty, pretty sweet. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 what are you gonna um just making uh these these sets and stuff really? has been a big thing of like trying to get all that figured out wondering how much of it we're actually even going to be able to show by the end of the year i mean i think it'll all be relatively done by the end of this month or at least one of them will be but just to a place where we're happy with set dressing is hard to make something look good and like uh <laughs> like it's an actual room so that's been a big headache. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I went to Hunter's studio, and uh, let me tell you, the sets are looking mighty tasty, and I, I barely saw them complete. They're looking mighty tasty. Yes. So that's what I've been. That's what I've been doing. Doing a big, <clears throat> as usual, as I say, the big grind before the Japan trip. So that's what we'll. That's what we're, that's the, that's the finish line we're aiming for. Go away. Sick, dude. Are you going to, does Japan have like a war district? It's got to have some kind of war district. They're like, I think sexually they're like some of the most depraved people in the world. Yeah. yeah think, wasn't there that video of the dude asking chicks if fucking a whore is cheating and they all said no? Yeah, and every and guy was like, "What?" Def definitely not selective edited video. I I like how Hubs said like they're the most sexually depraved people, and you were like, "The most depraved thing is that." Oh that we're, no, we're, we're like talking. We are people. talking about. You asked if they have a whore district, and that was a pertinent comment to that question. Yeah, that was that was just the comment in between. I would talk more about how I've seen. Some Jap Japanese porn where it's uh, they put this girl inside of like a Ziploc bag, like one of those ones that you throw under your bed, Jesus. and they fucking like vacuum out the air, and she's just like screaming inside of it, and then they let it out after she passes out. 
and you're like, who is this for? How is this? How is this just readily available? On the internet? It's uh, that's what I always associate is that kind of stuff. Why? Who is it for? Who hasn't wanted to shove a little Asian woman inside a giant plastic bag and suck all the air out? Get and keep her and keep her fresh for whenever you for whenever keep you want to pull her out for special shelf. occasions. Yeah, how do have those little white gloves you get when you buy big statues? Yeah, I've never worn the gloves though. Have you actually worn no, the gloves? No, God no. There's something gross to me about when people do. Uh, you said the the gloves thing, and it made me think of those barbecue videos where people are like, they touch all this like this freshly cooked meat with these black gloves. I've seen like barbers use and stuff. And I don't know why, but it's just it. It, it, I, it feels disgusting on my hands. I don't know why. Oh, I like black gloves. It always feels like whoever's wearing them is a consummate professional. Yeah, they never fit properly, do they? It's a good OJ Simpson joke right there. Um, oh, okay. I was so out of the loop. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really connect that one full circle. I thought I heard Don Snickle, <clears throat> but I don't know if that's... I, I, I like how you said I snickle, it was... which isn't a word, but probably the appropriate one to use. Yeah, I, I didn't want to use snickle. Like, we're talking. I thought it was more like, <laughs> they don't fit you, Tom, because you're not a consummate professional. You know. Oh, I was, I was, yeah. Well, that, 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 goes, that, that, <laughs> that goes without saying. Okay. That goes without saying. I was just doing the, uh, the you know, if it does not fit, we must acquit deal from uh, the OJ trial. If it does not fit, we must acquit. Jesus. This All was, right. This was lawyer. Coming hard. Forgot his name. They made fun of him a lot on uh, <clears throat> Seinfeld. I can't remember his name. Johnny Croc- Cochran. Johnny. Jo- Johnny Cochran. Johnny Cochran. Wow. The man, the man who got OJ off. <laughs> He's, uh, so, oh, nope, he died. He's dead. He's a dead man. All right, never mind. Good riddance. Good old Johnny Cochran. He had a brain tumor. That's how he died. Yeah, because he lied so much. That's what happens when you lie so much. What if the, uh, what if Johnny Cochran's brain tumor was actually OJ Simpson reincarnated? Even though OJ Simpson's dead. Oh, okay. No, he's not. I thought thought that he died recently. Something. He died this year. Oh, OJ. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he did. Oh, rest, rest in peace to everyone. But what we don't realize is that there, because Johnny Cochran died in 2005, apparently, there is a 19-year-old OJ Simpson reincarnation walking around, walking among us. That used to be a tumor. Yeah, exactly. I did. I don't. I got. I can't. I don't know who he is. Really, he killed someone. Is that what he did? Well, that's been up for debate, Tom. No, it's not up for debate because he's proven innocent in the court of law. So that, that's true. Def- that he is definitely true. did not kill anyone. That's been proven. That is true. Wish I killed someone. Really? Yeah, just just to have it on my like. I don't know. I feel like I would be so worldly and wise if I'd taken in another person's life. You talk about that a lot. Killing someone. Yeah. Like, well, what I if hope, I actually want to do it? Someone one day breaks in my house on the podcast. Please break in my house. It's really not it's something so like I can shoot you. Yeah, but I don't have a gun. That's the fatal flaw in my plan. Right. I suppose you don't have a gun. But weird. Yeah, I just feel like you'd be a person who would have a gun. Listen, I would love to have a gun. Give you me just a gun, can, please. Probably. Yes, please. No, I can. It's just too much effort. The barrier to entry is too much. It's too much effort. It's like you, you live in Texas. You, there's like, I've seen the, you can just go yeah, to thought, Storm I thought, Island. I thought you figured out there's actually a relatively straightforward pathway to getting a gun. That, so, because I'm a little fucking illegal alien. Well, I'm not illegal, mm-hmm. but, you know. Sure. Uh, it's not as simple for me. But all I have to do is get like a hunting license and then I can have a gun. Now, to get a hunting license, from what I can tell, you do a little online survey, a little digital hopscotch, that's about as hard as it is, and then I can get a precious, precious weapon. But even that is too much work and too much effort. 
if I could just walk into Walmart and be like, oh, can I have a handgun? And they're like, well, here, here we go. Like, I would, but that's the level of effort I'm willing to put in to have a gun. So how will you ever get to kill someone then? With my bare hands, like a man. See, that would make me too scared. I feel like it'd be cool if you shot somebody or, like, stabbed someone, but if you strangled someone to death, I'd be like, what a monster. But if you, like, beat them to death, would you be bummed out mm. if you found out they survived? I feel like a pussy, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, so I, I, I hit him like pretty hard. I don't know, dude. I don't know if the doctor's right on that one. Yeah, the guy's like standing up looking at you. You're actually in the court of law. The guy's like across from you. Yeah, I don't know if that's him. That can't be him. So you're twin? Oh, so you're a liar? You have Judge? a twin? Is you're that lying? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about getting the new Toyota 4Runner when it comes out. Have you guys seen that? Oh, is that that meme? Is that that meme truck? I don't know if it's a meme truck. It's from everything that I've researched online. The 4Runner is like the most reliable, one of the most reliable. It's a Toyota, it's just a Toyota 4Runner. Oh, it's like an SUV. Yeah. Why the <clears throat> fuck do you want that? I don't weird looking. The 2025 one? I think it looks cool. Why, why'd you want that? I think it's cool. I think it looks cool. And then, uh, I've always heard that like four runners are like super reliable. And then, uh, also it just seems impractical to have two trucks. It's impractical oh, to have two rid of your, trucks, but it's practical your... to have one truck and a giant four runner thing. Like what's the difference meaningfully? What's the difference meaningfully? I mean, I, I told you, I don't know how else I'm supposed to say it. It's extra seats for his family and Nick and Harry. But the trucks have like a lot of seats. You're the, the lighting only has one row behind the front seats, right? <clears throat> the what? Your Ford Lightning only has one row behind the front seats. Uh, sure. well, it's a if yeah, I it's had. a two cab pickup or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. well, fair enough. I was just letting you guys know just what what was what I got going on in my life. What color is it gonna be? Well, they have this cocoa, like brown or like fucking I don't even know what the fuck it's called, but it looks nice. It's like this kind of like, like almost little, brown, yeah. like almost like a little soupy. Yeah, like if you diluted, if you if it's like if you diluted a bunch of diarrhea with milk, it probably look like that. I think I think it does like it's got a kind of a cool look to it. It's nice. It's kind of like uh, like boxy. Yeah, I don't know. It's like it's just a. I like it. Simplicity has big knobs. It feels like it'd be just be fun to drive around. It looks like the inside of it looks like a Japanese arcade game. Yes, exactly a crane game. That's primarily why I want it. Is like yeah, I feel like I'm in a giant gotcha machine. <laughs> it's like gotcha machine. Mm -hmm. What, like you have to spend your life savings to do anything in the car? Well, aren't you, oh, I'm just gotcha games, whatever. Just even in Japan, isn't that doesn't the term gotcha come from uh like those like coin operated machines where you're you're trying to get the little figure oh, that's or like a little ball that you want? <laughs> so we that's what it we don't know Anything about gotcha games? Head flash kids. Yeah. Not a, not a damn thing. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm missing Thank you for that save. I mean, I think we've, I think we've like advertised in many a gacha game. Oh, like get you, Yeah, I guess I, I never, <clears throat> I've never gone around that world at all. I just thought that's what like the, basically they're like little, like coin no, probably, operated probably machines is, were called. Like, that's probably where it comes from. It's just yeah. adapted for, for like video games, you know? Right. Well, do you at least get a cute little Asian girlfriend with it? I do. And I get a Japanese best friend. Dude, that's... You know what? I've never considered what that'd be like, having a Japanese best friend. Very cool. Do you think so? How, how like Japanese... Too, like, well, well, hold on. Everybody, hold on. My best friend is Japanese. <laughs> Everybody, calm down! How, how Japanese are we talking? Like, English second language? Yeah. 
So he, so he's from Japan and speaks Japanese and has broken English. Yeah. Okay. Well, you want a, right, an American we'll Japanese best friend? We'll, well see that's what point. I mean. Is yeah, is he first generation American or is he like no, off no, the boat? No, no. Off the boat. They still come in in boats. They haven't figured out planes. Yeah. Bigger batches by boat. That's true. For all the Japanese overrunning America. <laughs> God, you can't turn a corner without some <laughs> Japanese man staring you in the face with a giant Polaroid camera. Call them what you want, knee knockers, golden nuggets, thigh slappers, etc. But our friends at Manscaped refer to them as the boys. Not every man has children, but every man is responsible for their two boys below the waist. When your little guys have more hair than they need, trust Manscaped for all your gro gro grooming dreams. Boys need love too. Facts. So join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com and using code CREAM for 20% off plus free shipping. You heard it here first. The boys are back in town! I shaved my balls with them just yesterday, actually, and they are looking mighty delicious. You could pop one in your mouth and you wouldn't feel a single hair between your teeth. Every man knows how scary it can be when going for a close shave below the waist. That's why I trust Manscaped for all of my sensitive areas. Introduce the Lawnmower family, including the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus, the 4.0 Pro, and the 5.0 Ultra. Yep, three ball trimmers. Isn't it awesome? Boys need love too, and for this reason, each trimmer is equipped with skin-safe technology and an LED light and unique features for different grooming needs. Skin-safe technology does not guarantee cut protection. Just saying. Oh, those babies are waterproof too, need I say more? For the basic trim, go with the 3.0 and work your way to the 4.0 plus 5.0 for the ultimate grooming experience. Taking it on the go, Manscaped has you covered. These trimmers come with a travel case and even a travel lock feature to avoid any accidental powering and or weird looks in the airport. This right here is the cutting edge of cutting pubes. Upgrade your ball trimmer and your life will follow. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code CREAM at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code CREAM at manscaped.com. For the best your boys have ever looked, trust Manscaped. I think it was Chinese uh, why... people that, that, were, that ruined my marriage proposal in Fairbanks, Alaska with their cameras. Oh, did they? Did they see you two? They're like, genuine american wedding and they took all the pictures no i went to well, no, <clears> went to fairbanks proposal. alaska and i was like oh, i'm gonna do this during uh the northern lights and like yeah. they were screaming they were like screaming and running around with their tripods yeah. and their cameras and stuff and <clears throat> i mean like mm -hmm. literally like running back and forth because they would see people like some guy pointing and they would be like pointing at other people to be like we should go to that position basically and they would like dead sprint and like be all slippery, they were just like screaming, and it was a, uh, it was a very, very chaotic. I mean, I was like, I was kind of bummed. Did you get mad about Paul Harbor? Well, it's a completely Chinese. different country, but no, the Chinese I got guys. more. Uh, I think it was more so upset that I was like, it was very peaceful up here until the Northern Lights happened, because it was super quiet and it was like, like very. Very beautiful out there. I mean, it was pretty crazy. I feel like you could like see there was like no light pollution at all. It was awesome. And then, uh, yeah, no. As soon as the northern lights started to kick in, it was fucking full on pandemonium. Did you scream FFS at them? No, I kind of just did. I did this a lot. <sighs> so I kept doing this country down to hell. We're trying to talk about, you know, uh, being married or being proposed, whatever, right? And then yeah. they would just be, I mean, when I say screaming, it's really not an exaggeration. I mean, like, seriously, like, screaming is that they're like, we have to get this shot over here! But in Chinese, and they're just dead sprinting around doing that. Uh, we were probably up there for, we are probably up there for like an hour. Or so, and I would say, I would say, I'd say 40, 40 minutes of it was people screaming and running around. And it, it was like probably, it was probably like midnight, one in the morning, because it has to be like absolutely dark. And they like wait really, really late. Um, yeah. Did you Did consider you calling the whole thing off? What, what, you both said something at the same time. 
Go ahead. Did you consider calling the whole thing off? It just doesn't seem. Meant this to is be. a bad omen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> bad omen. You you go to take the knee. You know, you begin the process of taking the knee, and then you just hear a scream. How do you feel? Did it happen before you did it, or after? And it's usually after. Like, so you can't you can't enjoy the aftermath. What I'm saying is like it was that that was that was the biggest frustration was we were like kind of just like kind of just sitting around, you know, no knowing this thing that no one else knows. It's like this fun little, you know, new thing that's happening in our life, and it was just kind of like completely drowned out by people screaming and taking pictures. I mean, like looking up to the skies absolutely fucking screaming but i mean like once again it was only an hour like 40 minutes of that then we went back but down you say only like, that's a really long time for people to be screaming it, it it was obnoxious i didn't i didn't know how normal that was because there's going to be some fucking dickhead in the comments who's like actually it it's pretty normal for people to be excited when they see dog lights it's actually how you get the northern lights to appeal you have well, to a lot of people in. don't know this, but they don't actually have stars in China. So that is that's why it's God so deprived the Chinese of really, stars. Really, really excited to see stars and pretty green shapes. That's right. They don't have trees in China either. I was talking about the northern whites, typically green in Alaska. Oh. Oh, uh, well, they still brought me down with trees. That's true. It's also true. Because they chop them all down and make yeah. chopsticks. <laughs> that was yeah. the first thing I was going to do when I went to, uh, first thing I'm going to do when I go to, uh, Japan is I'm going to go sit, I'm going to go to nothing. I'm going to go exclusively sushi restaurants. And then I'm gonna break the uh, I'm gonna break the 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 chopsticks. I'm gonna tap them together, and I'm gonna look very dissatisfied because apparently that's extremely offensive. Dissatisfied with how the chopsticks? Yeah, like the quality of them. I think that like I think that it's like supposed to be extremely extremely disrespectful, and it like is insulting to the people being like, "Oh, your your chopsticks like aren't good. These aren't, these aren't good quality." So every time I go, I'm just going to break them up. I'm going to tap them. I'm going to do, hmm. And I'm just going to ask for forks the entire time. No, you should bring a, you should bring a, like a 40 pack box of Chinese restaurant chopsticks with Chinese writing on them. Yeah. Oh, thank God. And just break those out, you know? Thank God I have and The these. Japanese ones aren't good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any sporks? Is what I'll ask. Spork? Yes, what spork do? Do you have spork? Did I go? No, I'm not really gonna do that. I'm not gonna be that fucking disrespectful. It's uh, it's sad because I've they're probably acclimatized now to Westerners because that country they're like or well, just Tokyo is flooded with us every day. But uh, back when it was probably kind of rare, it would have been fun to see like their reaction to you, tall tattoo, giant fucking mullet, like. The holes in your t-shirt with blocks. It would have been great, but now I just say holes in my t-shirts. Well, because I felt like like fucking mullet and tool wasn't enough. But, why, but I just did you? Was there just an abnormal amount of holes in my t-shirt when you saw me? Usually, huh? Usually. Oh, so this is just an ongoing affair. You just every time you see me, I just have. Holes in my shirts as if bugs are in my house eating away at my clothes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I, I don't know why you have holes in your t shirt, but some bugs. Yeah. All right, well, there it is. I'll be more mindful. No, I don't. It's part of your like character. No, no, no. I'll be more mindful. I don't know. No, please don't. No, 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 please. Did you guys watch the Little League World Series at all? It's that. Baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've been meaning to catch up on that. Yeah, Florida beat China. So 
You Wait, know. what? It's international? Yeah, I mean, Little League World Series. Uh, that, uh, that must have been amazing. Florida was, uh, versus China. <laughs> Florida really Florida really came up and uh and and did it. It Wait, how does that won work? an ending. Like, what are you memeing on me? Because like why would it be Florida and not just Team America? Because I think it's a certain team from America. I think it's a team from Florida. Oh, okay. But if I remember right, let me see. Little League. Florida defeats Chinese Taipei. Taipei. Lake Mary wins Little League World Series. I mean, what the fuck? I'm pretty sure that's uh, pretty sure that's Florida. Yeah, Florida Little League team. I think it's just something you have to qualify for. I can't remember what happened, but I know, I know there's a bunch of different, uh, a different bunch of different teams from countries and stuff that come together. Is it held in America? I, yeah, I'm almost positive. So the Chinese kids were already like jet lagged at a disadvantage. Well, no, I mean, I think that they are probably in the States for a while playing. It's a giant, it's a big tournament. It isn't just like one game or anything. It's kind of sweet. Imagine being a kid and you're fucking doing international sports against other countries. I was thinking about that and I thought about it. Yeah, then I might be kind of sad. Oh, well, like the pressure. No, no, no. Because I'm thinking, let's say you're part of this fucking Lake Mary, Florida winning team, right? Who beat China. And you, like you, every year that that passes, that accomplishment still <clears throat> overshadows everything you've done to the point where you're fucking sitting in, you're sitting in a Baskin Robbins as a manager now, looking at your, looking at your little league photo being like, it re- like my life really did peak at 12. Right, it's over. You know what I mean? Is it, I doubt any of these people go on to be professional baseball players. So it's just, it, I just don't see that happening. You guys got to watch this just for the Shaden Freud being the Chinese kids so upset that they lost. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get from copying our tech. Dude. Yeah, what do you think the consequences are for these kids? Death. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> He fucked up, yep. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably cry Brutal. too. I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I kind of wish the Chinese would have won here. Why are you gonna be like that, dude? Because the fucking <laughs> Florida guys are just like, yep, we had to drive 45 minutes to this game, and China had to like <laughs> fly 26 hours to a country that no, like everyone's like, I hope you red bastards lose. <laughs> <laughs> like you know that he's fucking that like they're getting like shit thrown at him and stuff like what like can you imagine the drunk dads in Little League World Series berating these Chinese children? Just look at this. They never stood a child. Look at the look at this. <laughs> look at the fucking it's it's yeah, like four times American the mess. American <laughs> chicken hormone obesity. <laughs> Just like synthetically like pumped fat into kid yeah i mean this is they do look like like an idyllic movie cast of underdogs it is kind of sad hey the, i feel American, bad i feel, the, I feel, I feel no, bad chinese, for the kid the chinese kids there's the pitcher throwing his hat down you guys, there's the you nerd. guys need to get on vibe fucking evil <laughs> was defeated this day what a fucking what a sad yeah i feel i feel bad for him Like they're, they're playing to get like no funding. The American kids have like trillions of dollars. Oh my god! Yeah, that, that's program. another thing too. Is you know, I bet you anything. Fucking Lake Mary. I'm not even gonna look it up. So fuck anybody who's like actually. I bet you Lake Mary is like a fucking like supercharged, like wealthy fucking community Ooh, of people. Magnet school thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Rich, it's richest, all private richest, school bullshit. Uh, county in Florida. Watching all these fat fucking kids run around the field. <laughs> Although you would think, uh, you would think China would pour some money in their deal to come over here and kick our asses. I feel like the only thing China you know. pours money into is, and this is going to sound horribly insensitive, uh, is, is giant like dark mausoleums 
like giant, <laughs> like gray stone architecture. Because every time I look at China, it looks like the most desolate. Like it looks like a fucking. It yeah, looks like concrete. the set of Prometheus. Yeah. <laughs> Does it like Ridley Scott's Prometheus? That's what yeah, it looks like. Really, it looks like another fucking really planet. Like it looks like they're on the moon. Hey, Wing, yeah. we divert some of the monolith budget to our little league team. <laughs> this guy to America. <laughs> yeah, well, if anything, what they do too, what they probably do is they're probably like, oh no, we're not going to put money into it because they need to learn that like, like it's like a way more disciplined uh, deal versus these guys are probably getting like blood, tra- like the American, fat Americans are like eating like make ribs and like getting blood transfusions and shit, <laughs> like all kinds of like crazy medical stuff. <laughs> they have they have blag they have bags of plasma that they're drinking. It's like not even the proper way to ingest it, but they're just like drink your plasma before the game. Stem yeah, cells and special, shit, specially extracted and flown in from that like boxer in the Olympics, that female boxer. Oh, what happened? What was that? What happened with that? Look at that woman losing her mind. I know her. Oh, just, with- God bless. Just giant, giant, her giant, giant fucking it. titties and just like a <laughs> big fat. You could never China. Big <laughs> fat. You've got big fat kid fucking cut out head next to it. She's been <laughs> she's been sitting there the entire game with like sixty sixty dollars worth of Arby sandwiches, just like smashing against the flat surface of his mouth on the sign. This is gonna give him energy. Yeah, the box big lady. Uh, it's some lady from. I can't remember. Algeria, maybe. Oh, you're, ta- you're talking about the trans thing? Well, no, but, but then I don't think they are. The, so, they, like, are, but they aren't, or something. Well, here's the thing. So, what is the of it? They, they have, like, I think they had female genitalia, but they still have the XY chromosome. I don't what think... What are you talking allegedly. about? Allegedly. The whole Olympics debacle. You didn't hear about that? Everyone was complaining. It was big news in our circles. <laughs> what even, get away from what even was the uh what, okay, so okay so that was the box the female boxer from algeria and mm-hmm. she let's just say has a quite prominent jaw and it was beating the absolute piss out of everyone <laughs> and she got um she got disqualified from some sort of competition before for failing some sort of uh, test related to gender, right? That's that's like the broad stroke. But so they're it, saying that they she failed a gender test. Like she, people are saying no. that it was a trans man. That's what or, they say. Or but, trans girl. I mean, yeah, but like they're not. Al- 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 just Algeria not- is not gonna like fucking Algeria. Like trans people don't exist in Algeria because they would get uh-huh. killed. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I and mean, but it was funny. You had like J.K. Rowling. Like going off about it, <laughs> of course. <laughs> J.K. Rowling. What I love, what I love about J.K. Rowling and how fucking dumb she is is she's just like she has like billions of dollars. So she, that that old bitch shoots from the hip all the time. Like doesn't <laughs> give a fuck. Even if she's wrong, she's just like I fucking I've been grossed out the whole time. <laughs> You're like, God too, damn, dude. You see that, the hair on the knuckles of that boxer. <laughs> I'm a feminist. Yeah, so there was a big uproar in the uh, conservative community, I'd say, about this boxer. And then the funniest part was, like, (laughs) after the Olympics was over, and obviously that square jaw son of a bitch won, um, she did, like, a campaign where she, like, dressed up way more feminine and wore makeup. And, like, (laughs) like, see, I am a girl. Like, the whole thing was just incredibly funny. Um... And How did weird. this pertain to the Chinese kids? Well, I, I think it's well. I just want to point out. I, was that. I think it's. I think it's funny how it's, they extracted plasma from her and had it specially flown <laughs> to the United uh, States to put in the kids. <laughs> I, yeah. I just think it's funny. Uh, I think it's funny how you're like the capstone to that story was you being like, yeah. Then he, then the guy went back and started wearing dresses and lipstick, <laughs> <laughs> trying to pretend <laughs> that he was a guy. Yeah, pr- pretty much trying to pretend that he's a lady now, even though he's never done that before. Okay, listen, not what I said. <laughs> not what I said. I think I vaguely remember seeing something like that on Twitter, but like the the fucking the Olympics were such a was a, such a shit show. 
like well, I, or just in terms of like media coverage it was just exhausting i remember i was like super stoked because the gojira performance i was like that's awesome that was kind of awesome they did it was that. amazing and i'm like this is a cool way for people to not only find about gojira but also like just like a little gateway into metal you know why mm -hmm. not i think it's cool and then people were like yeah. yeah but did you see the last supper what they're suing with jesus and it's also like first off who just who cares and then it's it's fucking france i care hunter oh, I, I forgot that i forgot about you but i guess oh d oh did you <laughs> but even then, it's like, even if you were like, oh, yeah, they're mocking Jesus. I mean, I, I'm guessing just because, Don, I've known you, I d just don't think that you would give a shit. I think you'd just be like, okay. <clears throat> no, I mean, no, I mean, obviously not in principle. Like, all we do is make fun of people, so that would be silly. But there is, there is a, you know, I, I think the th real thing that pissed people off is just the perceived hypocrisy. Because there's obviously other religions you couldn't lampoon. Like well, a, I would love to see them try, though. Yeah, that'd be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be hilarious dude <laughs> yeah it'd be very very funny <laughs> i was i always hate those comments though too if i'm being honest i mean i get like i get like i get i understand where people are coming from with like the whole hypocrisy of like you could never say that about like you know other other worldly religions or whatever or <laughs> especially with whatever global conflicts going it's, on too it's but so I, it's you can't say it so much that we're not even like saying mm, we're not, yeah, we're not even saying name that. on the podcast. Yeah. I'll be completely honest. Definitely, I was going to say I think I'm just I, I didn't. Ism. I didn't even say the real. I didn't even say the one because I I'm not even sure I know which one it is. If I'm being honest, <laughs> so I didn't want to say one. And people are like, "What are you talking about? No one cares yeah, about that." Any, I'm like, oh shit! Number of them for sure. I'm like, oh fuck! Because I almost, I, I almost, I, I almost said Hindu, and I'm like, I don't think anyone actually cares about it. So, something with an elephant. Yeah, is a blue which, elephant man. I don't know which beast they worship, but I don't. I worship man. <laughs> um, but no, I because uh, people because I did that Pawn Stars cartoon where the guy trades in jesus whatever <laughs> oh, and the yeah, whole joke is just fucking i mean like yeah like they bought jesus they like they underappreciated jesus like whatever we were like it'd be so funny if you tried doing this with a so uh, no this is a funny bit but do it to another one mm. <laughs> and it's like yeah it'd be fun to do that for every world religion wouldn't it it'd be that would be pretty funny i mean also, I, you have an american even... audience it, it, I don't like, even I don't think uh, I don't even think that was the same thing though. Like you're, I I didn't get that hate. Like I thought that was retarded on your thing because you weren't even criticizing Christianity. It was no. Like, I mean, funny. it's literally the the joke is you that see, they the, would the guy said yeah. like that. This is I I uh, I value this at about fifteen trillion dollars or something. Yeah, the guy's like right, yeah, yeah, fifteen trillion dollars. I'm like. <laughs> Okay, we'll see. Like, I, I was watching so much Pawn Stars, it was the only thing I could think of. And it's like such a stupid, cheap joke, but it was just funny to, fun oh, to make. But the, uh, yeah, it was a good cartoon. But the, uh, that was just funny. I still get comments on it now. Or that I, it's mm -hmm. funny too, because some, <laughs> I get like, some, sometimes you get just like random pop shots from people. Um, like on Twitter, someone will complain or be like, I, I hate me Canyon. His shit sucks or whatever. And there'll be a comment under it and be like, yep, he mocks Jesus. And you're like, I'm like, God damn, still <laughs> like, you're still upset about this. Like, God damn. Actually, it's well, funny. I saw, I saw a uh, kind of like different worlds kind of come together through hating me, which I thought was fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. There was a anime. Cause also there's people on the internet who also say that be, but I said that if you like anime, you're a pedophile because of this lolly video I made on my second channel, <laughs> which just isn't the case. Not at all, at all, what I said. Why did you got, say that? <laughs> you should have said that, though. That would have been cool. I mean, that is that is exactly you... what I thought. No, yeah. I, uh, but it was like, it was like this anime person who was just like, yeah, well, you also, you also sexualized Tom Brady's son by having him kiss his kid or whatever, and you called all anime lovers a pedof pedophiles. Someone goes, some guy's like, he also mar he also mocked Jesus. And then they had like a text chain. They're just like, while I'm not religious, I could see that being very upsetting. And he's like, I, I do think it is odd how he did that with Tom Brady's kid or whatever. And I was like, you know, this is the world is healing a little bit. This is nice. I, I like that the two spectrums of the world are are meeting in the middle here. 
that dude, that oh, Tom Brady shit was so fucking stupid. Like, you were clearly saying how weird it is that they make out. That he does That's that. Like yeah, that he kisses his kid. Yeah. Ooh, well, the, yeah, the inclusion of the photos at the end. Yeah. Also, just want Very to point well out, executed. too. Yes, it's implied. And yes, in the cartoon, he does kiss his kid. That's the joke. But I, I, I didn't even animate that because I thought it was disgusting. Paid someone else to do it? Well, I just mean I didn't even show it. You see the top oh, of their heads. Did. Oh, you know, you're right. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. He just okay, says that. He says that classic. That, you, you did that so you two wouldn't ban it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it, it, no, because it would have been funnier. Because it would have been funnier to me. Just or the shock value of it would have been disgusting. But it would have made, I think, the tune funnier given the pictures at the end. Because initially we were supposed to do the. We were going to do a super cut of him doing like all this stuff where. Like he says, like it, that's just a peck, like that that line, whatever, and whatever else. Mm-hmm. Which you know, it's funny too because people are just, it's it's all. I mean, it's just a joke. I don't know. I don't know if we just fucking include this. It's just gonna be a, a goddamn nightmare. It's just a joke. I mean, it's just a joke. Yeah, if you got a problem with it, like it literally happens. Look look up a montage. I'm sure there's a super cut out there. On YouTube. And I understand he's just a dad, whatever, but it's also the public's uh, reception to that as well and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just a meme. It's just, it's just a goddamn meme. It's not a big deal. And also, too, with that, I think people forget that I predicted the future, that the, I posted that before he even won the Super Bowl that day, and they ended up winning the Super Bowl. So there you go. No one, no one, ta- no one talks about that side of history. What's up? Tom Brady with 18 wife, fucking Super Bowl rings. He predicted he won another one. No, no, no. Well, all right, Nostradamus. You, ha- you, you have to, you have to remember they were against the Chiefs. I was really wanting the Chiefs to win. Okay. Yeah, and the Chiefs were Super Bowl champions before that too. So, I'm just saying. I was actually hoping because I was like, it was kind of funny that day when the, the Super Bowl was happening. I was like, it'd be so crazy if they actually won and. You know, I, I predicted it, but the entire time I was like, I really hope they don't win. And of course they won. It was a sad day. On Brady is a god amok, man. One hell of an athlete. One hell of an athlete. Luckily, we have Pat Pat Mahomes. He's such a, um, not Pat Mahomes, some a <laughs> weird looking guy. <laughs> One thing I love that ESPN says, it's like these old these old white guys is pretty funny. So it's, like, it's funny, it's kind of fucked up because you're like, what are you what are you trying to get at this? They do, ooh, let's look at a little Mahomey. <laughs> they say. What the, what does that mean? His name is Patrick Mahomes. No, I get so, that, but what are, what's Well, I don't know. That's what I mean. Is he's like he's like a black guy and he's like Ooh, that's looking a little Mahomey. <laughs> they say about it, <laughs> and you're just like, it, it's uh. What, what? Also, I was watching. I was watching a compilation of videos of like sportscasters <laughs> fucking up on uh, ESPN, like live casters, you know, um, on ESPN, like during games. And there's a couple really funny ones. Like this guy meant to say he is uh, retired. But he says he's oh, he's like retarded. our post is retarded <laughs> whenever he gets out of the end. <laughs> and our post is retarded. And there was one where he uh, I forgot what the let me see, let me read what it was. There was one where this guy during the broadcast had to be like I uh, I am so deeply sorry about what I said. <laughs> and I was like Wait, what, what what happened here? And this guy was like. I uh I, I don't know why I use those choice of words. I just want to let you all know I'm s I'm I'm very sorry. Let me see. Just saying it's, the guy was retarded or it was it another time? Oh, it w- it was because I think it was uh the, it was <laughs> I think it was because this black guy did something on the field and then the the sportscaster said uh he's gotta be out of his cotton picking mind. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it's just like it's one of those things too, where you know he said it, and like the literal like depths of hell opened in his stomach. Like he's like, oh god, what did I just say? 
that was that uh, that happened. I can't remember what sport it was. I'm just basketball like, argument where like there was that Asian player or whatever, and the and the commentator was like, "Yeah, this is a real chink in his armor." Oh yeah, so, like what? <laughs> The guy's, like name was, the guy's name was Nick Kist, uh, Kistelnos. I think, I, I don't know. I don't know. Funny, uh, fun, funny moment. Well, when you're pumping out that, because like broadcasters like that, they have to just talk incessantly. And at some point, just the like monkeys eventually typing Shakespeare, you're going to get him saying something like inappropriate, completely unintentionally. <laughs> Oh sure, yeah. There's you no way to chill yeah. out. I just thought it was funny. I was just yeah, I thought I thought he meant it like that. He really yeah, I, just couldn't hold it in any longer. Yeah, that yeah. much like yeah, he could. He's like, I can't, I can't not say it. No, uh, just the, I, I just love the idea of the, just the picturing in your stomach, like, uh, just that pit in your stomach that opens up when you're just like, this is this is not going to bode well for me. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh I'm always a big fan of those kind of things on like you see streams or whatever and people trick the streamers into saying like blurs <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Or and the, yeah. and they say it like a few times and then you just yeah. see that eyes like go like sources. It's a good time. It's a good time for everyone, except the people being pranked. Except the people being pranked. Not a good time. No. Oh, absolutely not. No, sir. No, sir. No, no. No, so. Uh oh. Spaghetti yo. Uh oh, spaghetti yo. Uh oh, spaghetti yo. <clears throat> Well, yep. um, congratulations to the Florida big boys, whatever the fuck they're called. Yeah, let's just circle back and just take time yep. to say congrats to the congrats. Uh, the Florida um, Little League team. Great job. Uh, and, you know, good, good luck next year. <laughs> that is nice. I do resent when the Chinese beat us at baseball. Didn't we invent baseball? I don't, I think so. Yeah. I, I mean, it's just like rounders, but taken way too far. It's like the American sport. Can't have, can't have other people beating us at it. That's America's pastime. That's right. You guys well, what's the rest of the week? So not many people really. <clears throat> what was that, though? I said you guys got a lot of sport, but like not many other people play. Yeah, like football. Yeah. And like even basketball, like some, obviously there's some kind of <clears throat> stuff going on elsewhere, but it's really predominantly just American. I am will say the Olympics showcase that the world is catching up. How do you mean? Just like the, the, the talent uh, in other countries is getting very, very good. Because before the America actually. would just, I mean, destroy the Olympics. Like it wasn't, no one even really watched it because it was, there was not much of a spectacle, but America almost got their ass kicked a couple of times. Well, the, the thing is, it's like, it, it is very embarrassing if we don't kick everyone's asses because we have more money and more people than most of them, you know? So it's like, it's like for Sweden or whatever, that, that should be an accomplishment if they come in third. Like that's, that's a crazy accomplishment, you know, just yeah. by statistics so yeah if, if america isn't like way on top it's like very embarrassing because we have such a um handicap over everybody but yeah i just like i don't know what it was like even before all the controversies kicked off this year there was just zero interest in watching it you know just like zero mm -hmm. ambient interest from me like when i first heard oh the olympics are on or just like hearing about it and then yeah like uh, i think it was like a lot of uh reporting about how it had like the worst viewership ever or something for some reason maybe Damn. it's just because we're all like at war you know don't want to talk to each other watch each other play shot put 
You know, it's my least favorite thing people say. Even more wanting to watch, like, yeah. I fucking hate this too. I think I've already talked about this, but uh, I hate when people say sports ball as if like you're not supposed to care oh, about. Dude, it is the mm-hmm. worst. It's it's like, like as, as if you're not supposed to like. Like someone, like what's, people are like, oh man, sport, really sports. upset. I wish my team would have won. And the people are like, wow, you're really crying over sports ball. Put the put the ball in the in the net. Get the point. Like, Shut the fuck up, dude. I know. Like, it's yeah. Is it then like they they like cry over like One Piece finales or something, or like something <laughs> like that? It's like okay, all right, dude. Whatever. Oh god. Big stretch, Jesus Christ! Yeah, it's it, throwing uh, my goddamn bag doing that. Like a, it's obviously they do it for like a ego boost. Like, oh, I'm better than you because I don't care about sports. But it's like fucking retarded. Damn. They wouldn't, they wouldn't do that with any other kind of like thing people appreciate. And also, sports is like built into us, like ingrained in us, you know, from probably a fucking genetic <laughs> level. The older I get, the the more I care about sports. I really didn't used to give a fuck too much about stuff versus like the normal stuff here and there. But the older I get, the more I, uh, I like the camaraderie of it. I've cared was, about a team. I was starting to say that and feel that too. I feel it growing within myself as I get older, like appreciating American football and what it is. Yeah, that's who the pack. Like, I mean, it, it helps that my team is really another, good right now. But another sport that has like a compelling theme song. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Da, 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 I'm not like, a like, guy. It's sports ball. Goes into like a weird like fantasy thing. <laughs> that would be quick. Watching people like ride in on horses onto the field. <laughs> I don't really watch any sport. Come to think of it, I'm surprised you don't watch like soccer or or football. I just never gave a fuck. I, I, I had a stuff. blast watching it when it was the world's. I, I'll watch it if, like, I don't know, we're in the World Cup final or something. But apart from that, I don't know. Feel for me. Like if uh, you're saying if, like, England is in the World Cup? Yeah, like if England's oh, okay. in the finals or semifinals, I'll watch it. Just more because <laughs> I want to rub it in everyone else's face. That's it. That's the only reason. Uh, that's, but, that's, that's 80% of wanting to get into sports. Yes, but no, 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 no. <laughs> it's pretty much like the entire, <laughs> the entire reason. That's why this year is very important. The season. I'm going to the game next week. Very excited. <clears throat> uh, we we need this if the if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl for the third time, they'll be the first team ever to win three in a row, and that will make them one of the greatest, if not the greatest, football team of all time. Damn, well, go your Chiefs. That's, that's what we need. That's what I want to hear. That's what I like to hear. They are officially my favorite team. There we go. Not a bad horse to bet on, buddy. All right. You're yeah. not a Patriots boy anymore, Tom. Here are the Patriots, Patriots again. That was Tom Brady's old team. Mm-hmm. Oh, do they still win everything? Typically. No. Then well, no, anymore. now Tom Brady's not on the team anymore, right? Well, in that case, no, I'm not a fan of it anymore. Mm-hmm. Was that pussies? Yeah, the I, pussies. I, I grew up being trained to hate the Patriots from the East Coast. <laughs> we hate them, boy. We hate them we with a firm passion. The well, what's funny, John, is I the the home opener is against the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens. So we got the Ravens were cool when I was a kid. We got to stop. The Ravens, Lamar Jackson's tyranny, right at the beginning of the season. Last season, it was really embarrassing. We lost to the Lions. First game, that was fucking a big bummer one to be at. Mm-hmm. Didn't like that. Detroit Lions. Forget, forget the yeah, Detroit Jared Lions. Goff. <clears throat> Led by Jared Goff. We shouldn't have even, we shouldn't have lost that game. It doesn't matter. 
cool, bro. Why don't you keep talking about sports ball? Sports ball. I grew up thinking the Ravens were cool and also being autistically annoyed that there's actually no Ravens in Baltimore. Like, you never see them. We yeah, but dude, because it's Edgar it, Allan it Poe. It make that, I know. It, it, it doesn't kind of make that. It's the kind of a stupid math guy. Yeah, stupid idiot. Gay. Dad, can I call it gay? Of course, poor. You guys, uh, I remember Ray Lewis when I was younger. Ray Lewis was a yeah, monster. Yeah, Ray Lewis jersey when I was a kid. That Ray was Lewis Christmas. is was a was a absolute fiend. Mm-hmm. What a thing! <laughs> Looks like Black Marcus Phoenix. Thought that was cool. You being cold train then? No, no he, he even had, like, had he even wore he had like the, the uh, rag thing. Yeah. And the armor, the armor looked like uh, cog armor. He was just about as big as fucking Coltrane, though. Let me tell you, the guy was fucking <laughs> giant. Hey, stop the climb, baby! Well, that is your episode of Cream Crew, faithful listeners. Hope you had a fantastic so episode. Pretty sure that's just. Christmas song actually I just jingled <laughs> it was almost varying into like Final Fantasy 7 music at the same time what was the final, like the what's, the final what's the final fantasy medley <laughs> oh okay you got a you got a hard cut off of 11 right what's, what's that's Lord of the Rings the premium we're good to go into the premium. Tom's Goodbye. gonna hard cut off.